I'll read a poem called Shopping and say a few words about it first. In this poem, lists function to, cre to create a dense texture, to emphasize accumulation, to suggest excess. Here I lampoon a familiar cliche that we console ourselves after disappointment with material acquisitions. As the speaker lists all the items she intends to purchase, as the poem gains momentum, the tragic heart of the story emerges. Something to think about as you listen. Could you fashion a comic piece about your own shopping habits? Shopping. If things don't work out, I'll buy the belt with the fashionable silver buckle we saw on Canyon Road. If we can't make peace, I'll order the leather duster and swagger across the plaza in Santa Fe, cross-dressing for the girls. If you leave, I'll go back for the Navajo blanket and the pawn ring. Bargain with the old woman who will know I intend to buy. If you pack your things, if you undress in the bathroom, if you see me for what I am, I'll invest in the folk art mirror with the leaping rabbits on either side. I'll spring for the Anastasi pot with the hole in the bottom, where the spirit of the potter is said to escape after her death. If you say you never intended to share your life, I'll haunt the museum shops and flea markets. I'll don the Spanish riding hat, the buckskin gloves with fringe at the wrists. I'll step into the cowboy boots, tanned crimson and designed to make any woman feel like she owns the street. If you never touch me again, I'll do what my mother did after she buried my sister, outfitted herself in an elegant suit for the rest of her life.